uh, I found out reasons uh, why doctors write lot of investigation. One, the doctor is dumb. He do not knows anything much, so he will keep on writing all the investigation to find out. Uh, second is obviously like he wants to make money or you know something is that. Uh, the third reason is like he's intelligent, he knows, but only point is he's overburdened with so much of work, so he cannot give dedicate that much amount of time to write the complete history and the complete examination of one patient, and then he do not get that much adequate time in the OPD. Uh, to diagnose the case through his clinical skill, uh, instead he will just send write all the investigation and through the investigation he will diagnose and treat the patient. The last reason is for medical legal purposes. If the patient have come to the hospital and in the hospital you miss out some uh, minor issues, or some particular uh, disease, then later on it may come up to the doctor. A lot of medical legal uh, issues in which. Uh, doctor could be blamed. The another reason is uh, demanding patient the, and some of the patient who thinks like if a doctor write less number of medication or less number of investigation it means he is not a good doctor. But the truth is that a good doctor will write always the least number of drugs and least number of you know investigations for you. But sometimes lots of investigations are mandatory and compulsory like for example uh, investigations to confirm the diagnosis, investigation uh, to uh, know the extent of the disease, investigations to plan further procedures to be done on patients. Uh, like for example, if you are undergoing some surgery, then hemoglobin, bleeding time, clotting time is kind of mandatory. Then to protect the staff, uh, hepatitis B, C, HIV status is must to be known. Then uh, uh, investigations for pre-anesthesia workup. So that time uh, a patient should not think I am undergoing all the unwanted investigations because uh, those investigations are important. So let's see what are the side effects of uh, you know undergoing a lot of investigation. Uh, first problem is money because in India a lot of people belong to poor class or middle class of families so they cannot afford all the investigations so money is one of the problem. Second thing is patient have lot of stress and anxiety while he's waiting for his test result which is not good because your mental health or your physical health should not be dependent on any machine or any test. Uh, another complication is false positive test because any test or any investigation you undergo uh, you have to know like how much specific it is how much sensitive it is to a particular disease like for example if you undergo 10 investigation or 10 tests uh, in that two may be false positive that time you will be in trouble uh, because to prove them as false positive then again you have to undergo a lot of series of investigations and so you have to avoid unwanted tests like for example if you go for common cold but you force the doctor to write uh, you know uh, CT scan ultrasound lot of unwanted investigations for you it turns out that there is small minor stone in your kidney so now there is a small stone which doctor says that no it will come out by its own uh, doctor will give you reassurance but for some patient reassurance do not work so that patient would be always in tension I have a stone I have a stone oh my god it's paining even if it is not paining he will have he will develop psychosomatic illness uh, he will develop a lot of stress and tension and that will lead to other diseases. So what the problem is, like if you would have not undergone that test, you would be treated for common cold and be living healthy and happily. So sometimes it's better not to get the test done if you do not have any sign or symptom, if you are healthy. There are a lot of examples like that. Another thing is if you are healthy and you are repeatedly going for annual health checkup, which generally people do, I want to tell you that Scientifically, it is proven with lot of meta-analysis and systemic reviews of researches that annual health checkup or regular frequently health checkup in healthy individuals is not recommended because it results into lot of other complications which few of them which I already told. If you are frequently visiting a hospital, there are chances that you may acquire some infection from the hospital. Uh, one thing which uh, Indian doctors should understand is most of the people in India do not have the uh, you know health insurance like in foreign most of the people have health insurance so they will deliberately will come they will be like uh, sir I am having uh, you know stomach pain but you do my CT scan ultrasound everything because it will be covered up by the insurance company. Most of the people in India belongs to poor class or middle class of family. So I don't think they can afford all the investigation stunts because most of the investigation or tests are very costly. What can be done for this situation is 
all the patient must be covered under health insurance and government must work on it doctors must use the test or investigation judiciously they must know the status of their patient whether they can afford that test or not whenever a patient uh, gets a doubt regarding his investigation or you know a lot of investigation being done so that time uh, that patient can uh, discuss with his doctors or the concerned people at the same time patient should also understand that he must not force the doctor to write the unwanted investigations for him uh, if the person is is feeling healthy he do not have any sign or any symptom of which he finds as unusual then he must not undergo any test until unless his doctor recommend because if he un- undergo unwanted test then that may result into lot of complications which i already told thank you guys hope you like that video uh, do give your views about it in the comment section uh, like share and subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video bye bye tata